Proverbs chapter 27. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. A stone is heavy, and the sand weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. A full soul loatheth an honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not, neither go into thy brother's house in the day of thy calamity. For better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. My son, be wise, and make my heart glad, that I may answer him that reproacheth me. A prudent man foreseeth the evil, and hideth himself, but the simple pass on, and are punished. Take his garment, the surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. He that blesseth his friend with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A continual dropping in a very rainy day, and a contentious woman are alike. Whosoever hideth her, hideth the wind, in the ointment of his right hand, it shall be raised itself. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof, so he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. As in water face answereth to face, so the heart of man to man. Hail and destruction are never full, so the eyes of men are never satisfied. As the finding pot is for silver, and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though thou shouldest bury a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. For riches are not for ever, and as the crown endure to every generation, the hay appeareth, and the tender grass showeth itself, and herbs of the mountains are gathered. The lambs are for thy clothing, and the goats are the price of the field. Thou shalt have goat's milk enough for thy food, for the food of thy household, and for the maintenance for thy maidens.